mzee itakuwa mwisho wake kuna jambo moja ambaye niliangalia pa tuliposoma neno tukaomba mzee huyu ni mzee wa imani alijipa moyo na akawa na nguvu wakati ambao umesikia mkeo ayupo i want to thank god hapo ndipo nilipokutana na huyu mzee ambayo ambayo leo tumekuja kusherekea maisha yake i want to thank god kwa ajili ya maisha yake na mungu aendelee kuwabariki wote tunapoiombea familia hii we need to pray for this family na tutaweka mikono na wake Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu aendelee kuangazia uso wake na Mungu aendelee kuwatunza kabla sijaingia katika neno kwa ufupi sana ningeomba hivi ningetaka tuimbe wimbo moja namba 530 na 530 song number 530 tungetaka tuimbe wimbo huo pamoja then we pray we i give a sermon it then we tumalize when peace like a river this song is familiar to all of us we can sing together isn't it when peace like a river when peace like a river attended my way when so like sea belongs wrong whatever my lord thou hast taught me to say it is well it is well with my soul it is well with my soul it is well it is well with my soul let us pray our heavenly father in the name of jesus christ our savior and our soon coming king We stand on this ground today to give you honor and to give you glory because of the life of our departed patriot. Father, we want to thank you because of his life, a life of service and dedication. A life, a life that he has demonstrated a true faith to you and today we are here to join his children his family as we lay him to rest and now i pray that lord may your presence abide with us even as we open your word as a testimony of the true faith that is recorded in your word and how i pray that you may speak to our hearts at this moment and may your grace be sufficient may your presence abide with us here even as we read your word may your spirit interpret these things to all of us because we ask all these things in jesus name amen Ninapoangazia maisha ya mzee Mtu mmoja ambaye ni mkarimu Mtu aliyetoa nafasi yake kumtumikia Mungu Aliyetoa mali yake kumpa Mungu Ndio maana kanisa hili limejengwa katika shamba lake 
mtu ambayo ametoa nafasi yake kumtumikia Mungu katika maisha yake aliyetembea pamoja na Mungu leo tumegusanyika hapa kusudi tuweze kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ajili ya maisha yake leo tumegusanyika hapa mioyo yetu imejaa uzuni kwa sababu ya kuondoka kwake leo tumegusanyika maala hapa katika boma lake tukikabidi familia yake mikononi mwake Mwenyezi Mungu tukiomba Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kusaidia familia yake aweze kushika watoto wake aweze kuunganisha watoto wake waweze kudumu katika imani na katika safari ya imani tumekuja kusimama nanyi tumekuja kuomba nanyi tumekuja kuwakabidhi mikononi mwake Mwenyezi Mungu wazazi wenu wameshaondoka lakini Mungu ambaye ana uwezo wa kufariji na kuwapa nguvu aendelee kusimama pamoja nanyi Ningezungumza maisha ya Musa. Mungu wa mbinguni akamuita Musa akiwa jangwani na alipomuita Musa akamwambia Musa nimeona masikitiko ya watu wangu nimeona uchungu ya watu wangu nimeona maumivu ya moyoni ya watoto wangu kule Misri. Nimeona kili, nimesikia kilio chao nimeona machozi ambaye yametoka. Bwana akamwambia Musa Ninaomba nenda katika Farao. Waambie Farao aachilie watoto wangu watoke. Waje jangoni kunitumikia. The Bible says Musa akaitikia wito baada ya mazungumzo mengi ambayo ingafupisha. Akaenda katika Farao nje ya Farao ya Egypt. Na alipofika pale akamwambia Farao, Bwana amesema hivi, acha watu wangu waondoke let my people go farao akasita na akakataa kuruhusu wana wa israeli watoke mungu alifanya mambo mapigo yaliyokuja katika nchi ya misri hatimaye baadaye farao akakubali koshingo upande akilazimika hana choice wa israeli wakatoka Safari ya wana wa Israeli wakapita katika bahari ya Shamu wakavuka wakawa jangwani miaka 40 Mungu wa mbinguni akawalisha chakula cha mbinguni akawapa mavazo waliokuwa nayo haikuraruka viato waliokuwa nao haikuraruka kwa miaka hizo 40 Mungu akafanya miujiza akawatunza wana wa Israeli akazuia nyoka wote wa wa, wa, wa jangwani kuweza kuwauma God protected Israelites na alipowalinda wana wa Israeli Biblia inaambia hivi akawapa maji wakati kulikuwa kuna maji wingu jeusi likaja mchana ikiwazuia na miali ya jua usiku wingu la moto likawa pale kuwapa joto God shielded and protected his people. Katika miaka ya 40. Wakati Musa alipojaribiwa, neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu linatuambia alipojaribiwa, Mungu akamwambia wana Israeli walipolia wakitaka maji, akamwambia tafadhali tunasikia kio tunalo lote. Mungu akamwambia Musa, zungumza na mwamba na mwamba itafanya nini? Itatoa maji. Itatupa maji. Badala ya Musa kuzungumza na mwamba itoe maji. Neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu anatuambia hivi. Akapiga mwamba. Na alipopiga mwamba hatimaye maji yalitoka. Lakini Mungu akasema kwa sababu hukuweza kunitii neno langu kamwe utaingia katika inji ya Kenan. Inji ya ahadi niliyoahidi Musa, amini niliyoahidi Ibrahimu, Isaka na Yakobo hutaweza kuingia pale. Na unaposoma kitabu cha kumkumu la Torati. Neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu anatuambia hivi. Kumkumu la Torati. 
Salasina moja Neno lake natuambia hivi katika msara wa kwanza Then Moses went and spoke these words to all Israel And he said to them I am 120 years old today I can no longer go out and come in Also the Lord said to me You shall not cross over this, jo this Jordan Bwana menambia utavuka mto wa Jordani utakufa Habari za kifo inapotuijia ni jambo ngumu Habari za kifo tinapo napopewa ni ujumbe ulio mzito Mungu akamwambia Musa hutaingia katika inji gani ya Kanan utakufa Ndipo mtumishi Mungu akasema nitafanyaje Neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu anatuambia hivi katika msura saba, then Moses called Joshua and said to him in the sight of Israelites, Be strong and of good courage, for you must go with these people to the land which the Lord has sown to their fathers to give them, and you shall cause them to inherit it. Then Lord Jesus Mungu natuambia hivi, Mungu akamwambia, akamwambia, akamwambia Musa, Mridhi wako ni Yoshua. Mwambie Yoshua maneno haya. Be strong and of good courage for you must go with these people to the promised land. Mungu akamwambia habari hizo. Familia ya mzee, the Lord says be strong. It won't be long before the Lord comes. It won't be long before the trumpet sounds. It won't be long The trumpet will sound and the Lord will come. And when the Lord will come, the Bible tells us, na parapani itakapolia, makaburi zote yatafanya nini? Yatafunguka. Na ikisha funguka, wote waliolala humo humo ndani watatoka. Walio muamini Yesu Kristo watatoka humo ndani tuweze kumlaki Mwenyezi Mungu. We will see your dad. He loved God. He dedicated his life to God. He sacrificed all his time and his property unto the unto the hands of the Lord. And your mom loved the Lord. They have gone to sleep. Wamepumzika. Tunaongojea siku ambayo parapani itakapolia kama jinsi Bwana alipomwambia Joshua kupitia katika kinywa cha Musa. Be strong, be courageous. For Moses, Musa akasema mimi naenda kufa mimi. Lakini be strong and be courageous. Your father has slept. The Lord says, be strong and be courageous. Hold the family together and walk together. Counsel each other. Hold each other's hands. Pray for each other. The same way your dad had wished to be with you forever. But the Lord has allowed him to sleep. So the Lord says, be strong and encourage each other. And as you do that, and the Lord will be with you. And will guide you. Kama kuna matatizo yoyote itakaye yakumba zungumzeni pamoja. Be strong, counsel each other, hold each other's hand and say, be strong, let's move forward. Kwamba jina la mzee na utumishi wake na na kaza aliyoifanya it may remain in the minds of people forever. As Jesse Kiage read the book of um the one of the books in heaven kitabu cha kumbukumbu the book of remembrance ambao anasikia chochote mnachosema talk encouragement talk prayer talk the word of god talk unity talk peace and as you do that the lord in heaven will listen and will record those things in the book of remembrance it's my prayer that the lord will be with you Bwana alipomwambia Musa mambo haya akamwambia Musa haya basi Musa panda mlimani akapanda mlima Nebo unaposoma katika Deuteronomy 34 verse 1 na kuendelea which I want to summarize Neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu akatuambia ni kwamba panda Musa akaenda mlimani na alipoenda mlimani mlima Nebo God showed him the land kutoka Mediterranean akaonyesha inchi aliyoahidi Ibrahimu 
Isaka na Yakobo akaonyesha kaskazini sehemu za Galilaya kuelekea siri ya juu akaangalia sehemu hiyo yote akasema this is a land i promise abraham i promise isaac i promise jacob alipoangalia baadaye this is what happened baadaye bwana akaonyesha filamu musa baada ya kuingia inji hiyo chini ya uongozi wa joshua baada ya kuingia katika inji hiyo Joshua akafa ikaingia katika wakati wa judges akaonyesha uovu ya wana Israeli akaonyesha jinsi takavyokuwa makabila kumi wataasi na wakachukuliwa wa Syria akaonyesha filamu makabila mawili ya Judas na Benjamin wakachukuliwa Babiloni walipoasi Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu akawarudisha na aliporudisha nje ya Kanaani baadaye Musa kaonyeshwa mwokozi agizaliwa Yesu Kristo agizaliwa tumaini ya ulimwengu Yesu akizaliwa kafara ya Mungu ambayo ambaye ni mwana kondoo kama jinsi Yohana anapozungumza first i mean John chapter 1 verse 29 tasema mwana kondoo wa Mungu hauchukuae dhambi zote za ulimwengu akamwona Yesu akizaliwa Akimwona Yesu akianza ministry yake. Akimwona Yesu akihubiri katika kila kijiji na kila mji. Akamwona Yesu na mpaka alipoangikwa msalabani. Hata alipo sulubiwa msalabani. Wakati watu walipomkataa. Na alipo baada ya siku tatu Yesu akafufuka. Akamwona Yesu akipaa mbinguni. Na alipomwona Yesu akipaa mbinguni kuanza kazi ya ukumbu mbinguni akaonyeshwa Yesu akirudi mara ya pili na anaporudi mara ya pili ata, atakaporudi mara ya pili na mwaliko wa malaika na parapanda ikilia na akaonyeshwa Musa akaonyeshwa Yesu akiteremka kuchukua watakatifu mbinguni kuja kuachukua watakatifu kwenda mbinguni na alipoangalia ulimwengu wote akaangalia watu wakikimbia wale ambao hawakujiandaa kukuja kwake wale ambao hawakuwa tayari kumpokea Yesu Kristo wakikimbia kwenye mapango wakisema tuangukieni atuwe atuwe tukaistahili kusimama mbele yake kwa ajili ya utukufu wake unaangaza Musa kaonyeshwa watakatifu walio muamini Yesu wakafa makaburi ya kifunguka wakitoka kwenye makaburi na walio hai walio maamini Mwenyezi Mungu tukibadilishwa kutoka katika mwili wa kifo na mwili wa utukufu Musa alipoangalia mamba hayo yote akasadiki he believed in the word of the lord and after believing the word of god the bible tells me and Moses died na Mungu malaika wakamzika leo hii Mzee amelala. Sisi tumekuja as a church, mchungaji yuko hapa. We have come as a church to lay him to rest. Apomzike. Akingojea parapanda ilie. Na atasikia parapanda katika kaburi lake. Na parapanda atakapoisikia kwa sababu alimwamini Yesu Kristo and the Bible says he will come out of his grave. Leo hii tunampeleka mzee wetu tunampenda hapo mzika katika nyumba yake. Tukingojea Kristo aje. Mpendwa nikimaliza nasema hivi. It will not be long. It won't be long kwa sababu parapanda italia. It won't be long kwa sababu Kristo anakuja. It won't be long tutamwona Yesu akishuka mawinguni. It won't be long. Wote walio maamini Yesu, wewe nami ambao tumechukua tume, tumechagua kumwamini Yesu Kristo, we will see him. We will see him together na mzee akitoka kaburini. We will see the Lord. The question The question that we have to ask, am I ready to meet mzee? Am I ready to meet mzee for the Lord 
is coming and the trumpet will sound and is coming na umati wa malaika anakuja kutuchukua nyumbani dunia hii ibrahim anatuambia sio kwetu this is not our home this is not our resting place our home is beyond the blues and the bible tells us yesu anakuja hivi karibuni kutuchukua tuende mbinguni tuende nyumbani kwetu so that we can be with the lord the family may the lord strengthen you may the lord unite you together may the lord keep watch over you may the lord meet you at your very need May the Lord surround you with his favor. May the Lord hold your hands hata wakati machosi inapowatoka. May the Lord wipe the tears in your eyes. May the Lord continue to protect you knowing and believing that one day sometime we will meet daddy. We will meet mommy. Be strong in the faith. Cry for unity. Cry for the love of God and love one another embrace each other and say sisi watoto wa baba na mama we will remain together in the name of Jesus Christ and we will walk together in the name of Jesus Christ and we will walk we will hold each other's hand no matter what with our children i want to pray as i finish when i ask you to stand and then after that the mc come Come MC. And after that you will do the rongori. Then we shall proceed to the graveside. Where we will lay, lay Moses remain for a short time. And I say for a shortest time. For Jesus is coming. Let us pray Father God in the name of Jesus Christ. You have allowed us to be here this afternoon. You have allowed us to join the family of Mize who are heartbroken who are crying because Mize is no more Father I want to thank you for his life I want to thank you for his sacrifice I want to thank you for his love and the love he had for you and the influence he had to influence other people to come and accept Jesus Christ and to influence his children to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and the Savior of their lives oh lord our father he's no more he's no more and we have come here as a church to lay him to his place of rest as we wait for Jesus as we wait for the fulfillment of his word as we wait for the trumpet to sound as we wait for the archangel who will say this is your lord we have been waiting for behold now he has come and now i pray almighty god as i commit his children unto your hands lord bless these children unify their hearts that the dream of their father they will cherish hold their hands as they soldier on i pray that lord may your spirit take control of their lives the teachings with their father and their mother taught them they will hold them unto their hearts and lord i pray that they will be committed to you than never before together with their children walk with them and be with them and if there are challenges remove the challenges for you are a god of mercy you are a powerful god nothing is impossible with you and i pray oh lord our father that you remain a pillar in this home that your grace will be sufficient for each child and their families and your presence will continually shine upon them and abide in their homes and i pray almighty god that you will bind them with your love and lord i pray that you will cause them to be committed to you 
For it won't be long before the trumpet sound. It won't be long before Jesus comes. Before we see Muse, who loved you. And I pray now, Lord, bless them and take care of them. And may you remain in this home, even as many of us who live. May you be the counselor. And may you be their shield. May you be their strength. May you be their refuge in all times. And Lord, they will cherish the spirit of their parents of sacrifice and love and committed to you. And I pray that Lord, hold these children together by your hand. Hold them together and bind their hearts together from now until we see the Lord. I pray for a church. Bless this church. Bless the pastor who has just come. Bless the elders of this church. Bless the members that Lord, we will work together. We will walk together and we will serve the Lord whom they served. And I pray almighty God even as we leave this place may your spirit abide with us. And if there is anybody who has not accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and the Savior, I beg in Jesus name talk to the brother. Talk to the sister. This is an opportunity for all of us to be ready for the soon coming of our Lord. Bless us all together and be with all of us together because this is our prayer. We pray and trust all this in the name of Jesus Christ our Savior and King, for the coming King. Amen. May God bless you. MC. Pastor, the Lord bless you for how many have been blessed by Pastor's ministry. Asante sana kwa kumili gueno. Kilicho na mwanzo wa chikosi kwa na mwisho. Tumeshuka mwisho wa kipindi cha leo. Samze, Clement, Nyaveta, Mtarigo. Asante ni sana kwa kwa wavumilivu hadi wakatu huu.
life in this world like Jerusalem. Oh, 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 
Tunarudisha Na saidi ya yote ni sherehe ya baba huyu ambaye anaenda kulaswa jioni ya leo. Wabariki watoto, bariki majirani, bariki wa shiriki, marafiki na watu wote ambao wamekuwa hapa kwa ajili ya shughuli hii ya siku ya leo. Maombi yetu ni moja. Wacha mzee alale. Akingoja asubuhi njema. Wakati tarumbeta ya Bwana itakabolia na wafu wote watakapofufuliwa yeye na mama Sara watafufuliwa na tutashangilia tukielekea Yerusalemu mpya. Tunakaribia saa ya sabatu mahali ambapo ulituumba na ulikufa na ukalaswa. Na ushindi lipatikana asubuhi njema wakati ulifufuliwa siku ya kwanza ya Jumapili. Na mzee analaswa siku ya Ijumaa wakati ambapo Yesu ulilala naye analala hivyo. Tuna matumaini makubwa sana. Tuweze kukutana na baba wetu katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Tutakapoondoka tunaomba ya kwamba ututunze. Saidi ni ya kwamba tutakapolasa yeye waja tuwe na matumaini na encouragement ya kwamba baba alale kwa muda mfupi. Asante kwa maubiri ya mchungaji, asante kwa nyimbo ambazo zimeimbwa leo hapa, wabariki kwaya zetu. Asante kwa sababu ya yote yule amekuwa katika program Hata TMZs wamefanya kazi mzuri. Wale wamenena wamefanya kazi mzuri. Wote tunajiweka mkononi mwako. Ya kwamba utukumbuke katika ufalme ujao. Mapenzi yako itendeke sasa kwa jina la Yesu ambaye ni mwokozi wetu. Amen. Sandende sana. Tunaenda moja kwa moja tuende mbaka pale. Kwa ajili ya familia. Tunaenda pa moja. Ebu mkuja mutufuate. Tukielekea pale sadaka tunataka tuweze kupatia mchungaji sadaka ndio hizo utaweza kuando kwa the family asanteni sana Family members,
Just go, only the family, because we want to pray. We have no time. Only the family. The rest of us, only the family. Only the family. You can keep on moving. Okay. Only the family. Okay. All right. Just remain standing still. We want to pray. We like to pray now. And we want the pole bear, the pole bearers, please. The pole bearers. Um, just remain here. So you can put the vehicle. I mean the, the, the casket into the vehicle. Then we move. Thank you so much. The pole bearers. Pole bearers. Thank you. Paul Bearers, move closer. Move closer. Mchungaji anataka kuwakabidhi mikononi mwa Mungu na safari ya kwenda kwenye kwenye Kaburi. Thank you. Thank you. Paul Bearers, move it. Move it. Just move it. We want to pray now. We want to pray now. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Pastor, you can go ahead. Okay. Our Father in heaven, time has come and we want to take the, our beloved Father, Brother Clement, to the place where he will rest until you come. Lord, this time we want to put the family upon your hands. Tie them with the, ro with the rope of hope, the rope of faith, so that but that morning, we may serve one another as we go towards your eternal place, heavenly Jerusalem. Thank you, Lord, for this service. As we start a journey, bless this program and bless everybody and bless the family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Then we put the body, the ministers will go ahead and then... <laughs>
hata baba yao anapolala asande kwa kazi nzuri ambayo alikufanyia katika dunia watoto hao wanapopaki na wachukuu pamoja na jamii kwa ujumla naomba wakae katika mikono salama ambayo ni wewe mwenyewe utasimama pamoja na wao wapiganie na uwapatie ushindi na saidi ya yote matumaini ya usimu wa milele tuendelea kutufariji na kutupatia tuweze kusafiri katika safari ya imani baka wakati utakapo rudi kwa sababu kwa uhakika hivi karibuni utarudi bariki sasa tunapoingia katika kipindi cha mwisho kwa jina la Yesu ambaye ni mwokozi wetu amen, amen. tunaomba wale wa mchanga watusaidie alafu ni walike familia waweze kutoa their last uh, respect alafu tumalize Can somebody bring us a spade? Ah, yeah. we Mungu kumruhusu mtumishi wake aweze kupumzika sisi kama watumishi wake tuna tumeirejesha tume mwili mahala pake itakapopumzika kama jinsi andiko la Mungu liposema mchanga kwa mchanga majivu kwa majivu hadi asubuhi parapara itakapolia Yesu akija na kila kaburi likifunguka na ebu katika tumaini hilo tumeliweka mwili hii katika mahala paka kupumzika na Bwana awabariki Bwana awaangazie uso wake Bwana wape ushindi wake Bwana wape nguvu na tumaini la kuja kwa Kristo liweze kuwa hai katika mioyo yetu yote katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini amen tungeomba familia sasa watasimama wakitoa alafu wakimaliza wataenda wakiti pale tutaanza na watoto wa tutaanza na watoto watapita pande
tafadhali tafadhali tugombane hapa Ni hapa ya kanisa Naweka uwa hili hapa To demonstrate our love To the family and to our departed elder Okay, thank you. Let the brother see. Isha too. Let the brother do up.